Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm making a change. Uh, this is the, um, a conversion kit that I got from a company called SJ Conversions on Instagram, link down below. Um, and I specifically requested a gloss black one because, you know, the rest of the car is red and gloss black. Uh, and speaking of red, I've also got some surface mounted diodes uh, in a nice red colour as well. So what we're going to do today is take the clocks out of the car and we're going to rip them apart and we're going to change everything so we change the orange surface mounted dials to red uh change the, the the little fascias on the speedometer and the rev counter for the new ones and then put it all back together again and see how it looks okay so what we have to do now is remove the clocks entirely uh, and to do that and um, there's the usual stuff there's a couple of screws either side there uh, so we'll remove those and we'll take the colon off and we'll get that fur and then we'll revisit it Okay, the next step is there are some 10mm bolts they need to come out I have just the tool for that it's a Ryobi power ratchet one two so they're loose they should just come out now in fact I should loosen the whole thing that side's loose, that side might need a little bit more. See if I can pull it out with the fingers. Probably not, so let's use the extension as a screwdriver. Undo it just that little bit more. There it is. I'll store them in a nice safe place. Not so safe as that you'll lose them. And then that should just slide it straight out. Now then, on the back of this, there are a bunch of plugs, uh, as you can see here. Uh, these only go in one way. So if you take them out, don't worry too much about them, but they do only come out one way. So I'm gonna take those out off camera because it looks like I'm gonna need two hands for that. But they just squeeze and release, so. Yeah, I'll get on with that off camera. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we've got the clocks off. First thing we're going to do is undo this uh, this bolt here. That'll keep the um, rev counter on. So we'll undo that. That comes off and then that should just, I don't know, somehow slide out. Never actually done this before. Okay, so that's staying on there. Never mind. Uh, yep, no idea. There's some little screws there, but never mind. Well, that can stay for now. A um, little bit of plastic to like some plastic tabs holding that on. And somehow they come off without snapping them. Ideally, that'd be nice. There we go. Uh, now there's some plastic tabs holding the black surround on. Same sort of thing. Push them out, try not to break them. If I can do it from that angle, there we go. There's a couple more left. Jesus, I'll come back to that one. Horrible one there, isn't it? Holy Jesus. There we go. Okay, there's a screw holding that on as well, apparently. Okay. Where is the or is it just wedged? I think it might just be wedged, actually. that broken don't do that that's broken that's that is apparently not part of that that is something I was unaware of oh well never mind um I'll glue that back on so I'm gonna carry on taking this off this has got to come off this I believe 
just pulls off. There we go, yep, that pulls off. And then this should come off with the rest of it. There we go, that's better. So I'll glue that back on, that's not a drama. But yeah, so uh, now we're down to the, the actual plastic fascia. Now we could just replace that with the one that I bought, which is over here. And that would look pretty cool. However, I don't want to do that just yet. What I want to do is gain access to some of these LEDs. Uh, there's one there, a few around here. Uh, all that sort of good stuff. This should pop out as well. Uh, so we'll gain access to those so that we can change the LEDs and make it look red instead of orange. Because that'd be nice. There we go. So we'll get us a, a screwdriver, undo these screws, and then that should pull out them. Okay, so we've managed to get this out. Um, this requires a lot of gentle persuasion and some patience. Gentle and patience, two traits I'm not really blessed with in spades. Um, it's on a plug at the back. You've got to be very gentle, pull that out, not to break any pins, not to break any clips or anything like that, because you can quite easily just not try and unclip the plastic bit from the board. That's not the correct way of doing it the plastic bit and the board have to come out as one. Uh, next thing to do is to desolder the back of this because it's not on a plug. So all these pins down here all need desoldering. Let's get on with that. Okay, so the way that you change a surface mounted diode is you're going to need a uh, pair of tweezers uh, and just either side here you'll see that it's uh, literally surface mounted there's just a, like a lump of solder there and the same thing on the other side so what we do is grab the tweezers and the solder line we hold solder line against to melt the solder and then remove a diode if you can get at it of course here we go one removed diode and then to solder one back in obviously noting which way around it goes
now that we've soldered them in we're looking at this one this one this one and this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test whether they actually work or not I'm using a meter now you can see the set in there uh, so it's set in ohms uh, and what I'm going to do is just probe them you can see that that one has lit up you may be able to see on camera I don't know um, but the remainder light up um, a little dimmer uh, that was on a different polarity that one works and if we change the leads over for these other two you can see that that one should light up I'll come back to that one that one lights up and that one lights up so we're happy that all those work so let's reassemble and then we'll get to the uh, the old ref counter then. Okay, so I've reassembled it to the point where um, we've soldered this back in, clipped everything back in and the glass is back in, the diffuser for the actual SMDs itself. So what we're going to do now is the bit that uh, you all came here for, fit this. So that goes over that little black thing there and fits into those two little locating spigots there. Uh, next is the shroud, that just clips in. Come on, get in there. Okay, that just clips in there. Um, I'm a little annoyed at myself, I did snap those so you can see that it's it's got some glue fluff in there but there's nothing I can do about that, so just have to live with it until I can get another one, uh, which won't be long to be fair. Uh, and then the plastic goes up over the top of that the little plastic transparency so start at the bottom those in and then it should just squeeze in all the way around like that okay. there is one thing that I tactically forgot though let's try that again shall we Luckily, it's really easy to get out, because I'm an idiot. Anyway, needle, that might help. So it just sits, that bit sits over the top of its little spindle in there. Uh, roughly speaking, zero miles an hour. Bend it against the backstop to try and calibrate. Roughly zero. It, well, from this direction, it does look zero. From your direction, it looks slightly less. Um, but that's called parallax error. If I look straight over the top and down, that's zero miles an hour. Then we put the plastic back on. All rebuilt. Jobs are good. So, now, it's on to that. Okay, so the next one is the rev counter. To dismantle, all of that, twist and pull. Okay, that comes off. Uh, next one, you little pick, and oh, that was quite loose. Uh, the glass comes out. Uh, there are two screws, one there and one there. They come out. on the back and do that yep. without dropping the screwdriver and that comes out as well right, so that's the screws you don't need those anymore and um, this then if you just loosen the tension on this screw the back that then allows these to pull forward and then that unclips, the back shell unclips. So that's the back shell off. We lift that up and out. You can then uh, use something like this to remove that plug. Now why are you not coming off? There we go. Now that gets rid of that then. It makes life easier. So then we've got that off, we've got it to that point. And we need to take this plastic ring off. 
which is very similar to the actual speedometer itself that just pushes out there if you can get them to push come on two yep there we go that's that off and then with again same thing as the speedometer with the uh, indicating dial that should just pull off the top of the spindle that's off and then that comes out as well okay. and that's that out so now we need to get to the circuit board so that just looks like a couple of screws at the back undo those circuit board pops off okay and then what we're looking at is these two LEDs here or SMDs uh, and yeah same process so let's get them off and swap them out for red SMDs So there we have it one completed speedo set so we've managed to uh, replace the smds in both units and replace the background little card fascia thing uh, and the rev the installation is the reverse of removal uh, i'll not bore you with that bit because you just saw me remove it but uh yeah that looks pretty good so i'm going to go and install that back in the car uh, next thing you'll see is when it's on and working Okay, so here we are. We've got the uh, the speedometer and the clocks and things like that back in the car. Uh, I have purposefully left this shot dark so I can show you exactly what's happening. So, what I'm going to do first is pop some lights on. So you can see how the SMDs in the background are working just lovely. I like how that works. Same for the rev counter. Um, it is a little bit light up here, so you can't quite see it as good. Uh, I'll try and record something in the dark later on, but those look really really cool uh, i'm just going to pop the ignition on so you can see all the lights shining through the middle there so there's not a problem the new fascia boards are not obscuring anything down here or anything like that uh, and then if we fire it up there we go that works brilliantly i'm so happy with that so as far as i can tell that is a success and uh, if you liked it you know what to do um in the meantime i'm gonna go and record something in the dark
So that's all done then. Uh, and I think you'll agree, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the dials that I got from uh, SJ Designs, uh, again, Instagram, uh, they were 70 quid a pair. Uh, and it was, uh, I got the speedometer and the rev counter for that. Uh, and I think that's a bit of a bargain. Uh, I did once speak to a company on Instagram called Northwest something or other, I can't remember what they were called. Uh, but they were a rip-off artist, uh, ended up getting my 100 quid back through PayPal for that one. So for that price that I paid for these, I think that was an absolute bargain, and they are fantastic quality as well. Didn't take very long to come out to me. Absolute banging company to work for. Work for? Purchase from. It's been a long day. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I think it looks amazing. Um, there was a couple of bits that were a bit of a faff, like... Um, uh, if your steady hand looks like this, then you're probably better off getting a bit of help with the SMDs. Uh, I did, I, I botched one up, so I got Kane to solder one in because it, it ended up looking sort of like that and like that. That's, that's no good to man a beast. Um, but anyway, he did that one, uh, I did the rest, and I think it looks brilliant, especially in the dark. I can't wait to for the nights to start closing and things like that so I can start using this in the dark on a regular basis. It's gotta look mint. Um, but yeah, you know what to do. If you liked it, smash that like button and follow me on Instagram, all that sort of good stuff. It's all good for the uh, algorithm. So like it, share, comment, subscribe, make sure you do all that usual YouTube, Instagram-y type stuff. Follow me, and see what I'm up to, basically. Uh, if you really do like it, then you can, if you want, buy me a coffee. Uh, that helps me um, produce this channel, uh, produce better content for this channel. Uh, and if you did like it, remember to ring that bell, get notified next time I drop a video, and I'll see you then.